lot of you are probably wondering if I still go scavenging and foraging. You bet I do. All right, folks, so I've already got two bags, two bags full of stuff. And I'm gonna show you what I found. I'm gonna set it up for you real nice. Ha! I'm sorry, folks, but these are um, not people who are down and out. These are not uh, these are people who are on drugs, obviously, and they've obviously left this place. As you can see how old everything is. So don't think that I'm out here stealing from homeless people. I'm literally picking up after them, picking up their garbage that they left behind as they destroyed this beautiful walking area that nobody can use. You know, I have made a video similar to this one in the past, and I realized what I neglected to do in that video was show the end result of picking up garbage from these drug-induced homeless camps that have been abandoned. Everything you see here, the chair, the yellow stool, the bed itself, the throw, the mat, the, the blow up bed, the, the comforter, the sheets, the pillowcases, all of the clothing that you see over here, towels, shoes, shirts, pants, shorts, all in my size were found either at that place within the last week or back in California at a place that was very similar to that. Now, Last time I made the video, there was an incredible amount of disgust and hate. A hate towards me saying that I was stealing from homeless people. Now, I want you all to use your common sense. These places, now, what a homeless person does when they are on drugs, okay, is what they do is they go to a place, they completely trash it. And I'm talking to the point where they can't live in it anymore. And then they move not far away from that area to another place, which the, begins the process all over again. They will trash the place to the point where they can no longer move around or live in it, and they will move again, okay? Now these places that I go are abandoned. It is obvious that nobody has been there for months, if not years. Please use your common sense. Now, many people will say, that is disgusting that you pick up used bedding from one of these places. Don't you worry about bed bugs. Common sense, folks. Use common sense. Common sense is not common these days, is it? If you pick up a blanket and it looks too disgusting for you to take home, wash clean in hot, hot water and then put in a dryer on high heat for a really long amount of time, don't pick it up. If this is beyond you 
and you just don't understand it and it's not something that you can do, that's fine. I'm not forcing you to do it. I just go on really long walks, typically five miles per day, and I always come across these places. And I happen to carry a backpack in case I find anything. Not even necessarily at places like this. I find things all over the place. And you're probably wondering, what are some of my best finds? Happy to tell you. Uh, so one time I found a forklift battery unused, no receipt. I took it to Walmart and they gave me $150 cash for it. It was a Walmart battery. Um, I don't think that I could get away with that now because I don't think I was supposed to get away with it then, but I got 150 cash for it. Another one was a kayak. I found a kayak. I sold it on Craigslist within a day for $100. I used to go in, there was, back where I worked in California, there was a nightclub across the street, two actually, two nightclubs, and they would throw away every beer bottle and can into their dumpster in the back. Every day on lunch, I would spend my 45 minute lunch uh, in the dumpster just pulling out all the bottles, all of them. I was making about two to $300 a month just by collecting cans and bottles. Now we do not have a redemption value here, so I've had to change things up a bit. So what I'll do is I'll pick up these things, I'll wash them, I'll clean them, I'll donate them, and I'll get a charity gift receipt that I can use on my taxes. That's how I make up for the not being able to pick up the cans and bottles. Uh, I have found all good and bad things. Um, I've never, never come across syringes in any dumpster that I've been in uh, or any homeless camp. I find uh, crack pipes, but I've never come across needles. Um, and I hope I never do. I've found jewelry, um, cl lots of clothing, shoes, hats, you name that. Um, let's see. A uh, firearm holster that fits my firearm, which is kind of crazy. Uh, any American flag you can think of. Uh, and I found in unopened packages, um, gosh, I want to say so many things like uh, toothpaste, deodorant, um, soap, shampoo, conditioner, enough to last me for years. And here's a funny thing. Just the other day, and... This is just from walking. I have a habit of walking. I was getting a tire fixed at Walmart. And you know how in one of my videos, I don't know how recent it was, in one of my videos I was showing you all a bunch of beer that I found. And I find beer and I save it for my brother and I give it to him. Uh, and I always say, why, God, why do I always find beer? Why can't I find an unopened can or bottle of soda? Well, I was getting my tire fixed at Walmart and I was walking through the parking lot and I found an unopened uh, bottle of Coca-Cola. So I have a soda on hand just in case uh, I feel the need to have a soda. I've also found entire bo boxes, no, not boxes, baskets, baskets full of peaches. Um, in the, and these are in the parking lot. I have never been able to dumpster dive for food. I would love to be able to do that. But in California, they have, the way that they have it is they have the dumpster, the big square dumpster, but they have a tube that goes in directly from the building into the dumpster. So there's no way to get into the dumpster. Here, all of the dumpsters are locked, so I can't get in them. I have no choice, but I would love to be able to do that. Uh, I found cakes, unopened cakes uh, in the Safeway parking lot a lot of times. Money. Um, I have found hundreds of dollars in just money. I remember going to a gas station one time and I was throwing something away as I was filling up my tires. And as I was throwing something away, I looked in the garbage and it was on top. It was like $106 in cash that someone threw away in the garbage at a gas station. Just... Be vigilant, folks. I have found uh, lots of drugs. I found, um, I took pictures of them. I let, I didn't pick them up, but uh, took pictures and had to show them to a friend of mine to find out what they were. It was um, ecstasy, molly, and crack cocaine. <laughs> and um, that was interesting. And believe it or not, I was telling one of my bosses about it, my supervisor, and she was known to be a party girl. And she said, why didn't you bring it to me? And I'm like, I don't deal drugs at work. And I didn't know what they were. I can't vouch if they're good or not. And she's like, next time you find something like that, you bring it to me. And I'm like, okay, 
Uh, heck no, I'm not bringing it to you. I do not want to get fired. By the way, the apron that I'm wearing is also found within the last week. And I just had a huge workout. That is why I'm wearing this. And I had to have a really cold shower and put myself together just to make this video. So I apologize if the weird bandana thing is getting to you. As soon as the video's off, I'm putting my hair back up. But I have found Christmas tree. Uh, you saw my Christmas tree, the white one. It was my dream tree. And I couldn't bring it with me here. I ended up giving that to a friend of mine. I have found laptops still working and in, in working order. I have found miniature solar panels for charging small electronics like cell phones and laptops. I have found star gift cards. Oh my gosh. Uh, $25 Starbucks gift card. I found one just recently to Smith's Gro grocery store that still had $30.31 on it. Uh, Walmart, Target, Kohl's, Panera Bread. I found gift cards to all of those uh, in from the minimum was the Panera bread for 15 and it went all up to all the way up to like $76. So if you ever see a gift card just laying on the ground, uh, don't assume it has nothing on it because that is for me, that's almost never the case. It is sometimes but not always. Uh, photo, photo frames, um, posters, American flags. I hate finding American flags in places like that. Purses, backpacks. I found a backpack with $10 in it one time. If you can think of it and you can name it, I have probably found it or seen it. And I don't pick up everything that I see. So please don't think that I just, I'll pick up anything. I do use common sense. I only pick up things that I can use or need um, or have some sort of value where I could sell them or donate them and make a profit. Rocky seems to not mind. So yes, everything that you see in front of you, including the bed itself, which is still in perfectly good order. It's a blow up mattress that I found in the original box. Uh, just in the last week, um, I found this throw blanket. I found um, all of these clothes, all in my size. I found these sandals. I don't know if those will fit me. They look a little bit big. Um, and this towel, which is now my, literally my favorite towel. I love this towel. So don't be afraid to at least look at the top of the garbage. If you don't want to go digging around, just look at the top. And even if something is super dirty, think of what it's going to look like when it's completely cleaned. This comforter, I have not found the exact same one, but I saw a similar one at Walmart for $39. So I'm looking at a free $40 comforter. It's extremely comfortable. And the sheet, I have a blue flannel sheet that I found in the garbage. Uh, the white under sheet, um, fitted sheet, found it in, in, on the top of a garbage. And, and people throw away really decent things. We're extremely wasteful in this society. And you know, don't be like them, you know? Don't be wasteful. Uh, donate it to a thrift store or go and you know pick up these messes pick up these dumps because they're just gonna sit there and they're just gonna be killed by the weather and it's just all gonna go back into the land when you can either make use of those things or you can donate it to somebody who can use it do what you can with what you've got prepper princess out The bigger they are, the more they cuddle.